God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. Look, I hope you missed me last week because I missed you. And I'm glad to be able to say that I'm back in the saddle, sitting here at my desk. Last week, you know, I was in St. Louis at our National Holy Convocation, the Holy Convocation of the Church of God in Christ. And the Lord blessed us. And I want to give a great big thank you out to my daughter, Evangelist Crystal Abanchuku, who preached uh, on my behalf here last Thursday night. You know, she's a preacher and I'm so proud of her. And I want to thank the elder Robert Williams, who preached here last Sunday uh, on our behalf while we were out at the Holy Convocation. But I'm back. Praise the Lord. And I'm excited about the word of the Lord tonight. Uh, uh, FYI, I didn't come back empty handed. Uh, some wonderful things took place uh, at the Holy Convocation, and one of them is what I, ha I have a copy of in my hand that I will read in its entirety tonight. I have a copy of the Church of God in Christ General Assembly Resolution uh, in November of 2019 Resolution on, listen to this, the Sanctity of life. The Church of God in Christ is the only leading African American denominational mainline church that has a resolution uh, on the sanctity of life. And this resolution declares abortion is genocide. Abortion must end to protect the life of the unborn. And we have so many scriptures. It was the most amazing thing. Yours truly was able to be a part of getting it passed. Uh, Bishop Matthews was amazing. I want to thank, I want to give a big shout out in case he, he sees this to the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ and the entire general board who were on, on board with it. Our general, uh, general assembly chairman, uh, the Bishop Lemuel Thuston, who helped push this thing through. Bishop Matthews, who was instrumenting, instrumental in writing uh, uh, this resolution, our great resolution committee for bringing it forth. And uh, I tell you, most importantly, to the Lord Jesus Christ for blessing us to get it passed with 100% of the respondents in the General Assembly voting for it and no one, my friends, voting against it. That's a big deal and that's good news and I'm so excited and so thankful to the Lord for being able to stand on the floor of the General Assembly and argue in favor of this great, great resolution. I want to thank God for Bishop uh, Elton Amos, oh, a, a medical doctor, friend of mine, an awesome man of God who was instrumental in making sure the final copy, the final draft met all of the standards that needed to have been met. We weren't making a, a medical uh, resolution. It was ecclesiastical. It was our church resolution, but we wanted it to be right. And Bishop Amos, uh, God bless you, sir. Big shout out to you. And there are so many other names that I can call that I should call. Uh, 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 by the way, uh, my son-in-law, Elder Amanchuku, I brought him into the meeting with me, and uh, uh, he had some wonderful uh, suggestions, and we uh, followed those suggestions, and I'll tell you more about what they were on last night. So, uh, on tonight, I mean, uh, I'm so excited. This is, this is a big deal, and I'm excited about it. It's the real thing I'm excited about. I got my cameras over here, cameras over here. Uh, Gary told me to look in this camera, but I'm excited. So when I get excited, you know, I might start looking at the camera, look at here, look at there, look at everywhere. I'm just so excited about this. You know, um, uh, God is so good. And, and my friends, I want you to know that one abortion is too many. But we're living in a time where there has been a tremendous reduction in abortions due to the prayers of the saints, the, the efforts of many who are in this fight, and people just like you. Most importantly, by the intervention of the God of the Bible. And I even give a great shout out uh, to our, our president because 
tone from the top matters. And funding has been cut to Planned Parenthood. And I'm praying that even more government funding will be cut to that organization that has slaughtered more uh, African Americans and human beings than the Klan, uh, more every two weeks than the Klan has in its entire history. Do you hear me? In its entire history. Thank God for Jesus. Now listen, 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 listen. Can't wait to teach the word of God tonight. We're going to be in the Bible, in the Bible, studying the word of God. I really, uh, um, let me hide this. I got my hand on the page. <laughs> Where well, we're going to be preaching from the night, tonight, and God's going to bless us real good. So I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for, wait, get this. Bible study. Yeah, that's what we have on Thursday nights, Bible study. And we're, we're still excited about Bible study. Come and join us for Bible study. God bless.